Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and in this video I'm going to tell you the story of Johnny the Butcher. Johnny the Butcher first appeared in my sketchbook somewhere between February and May of 2005. I'm not sure of the exact date because the sketch of him is undated. Johnny was one of several characters that I intended to paint as a series showing various professions. The characters were loosely inspired by a children's poem that basically listed professions. Now I don't know all of the words to that poem, but from what I remember it went something like this. Butcher, baker, soldier, sailor. Tinker, tailor, beggar man, thief. I never went on to create the series of paintings, but in May of 2005, I revisited the sketch of Johnny the Butcher and completed that one as an acrylic and chalk pastel painting. Something that you might notice about the sketch and the painting of Johnny the Butcher is that he has a somewhat unexplained protrusion coming from the bottom of his chin. It looks like that maybe he has perhaps a beard or some kind of tie around his neck. Either way, if you take that sort of dark protrusion and join it to the shape of his head, you'll get something that is an approximation of the shape of a meat cleaver. And this is something that conceptually I was trying to do with all the characters is to incorporate some sort of shape that represented their profession in the makeup of their face or their body or in general how they looked. And you'll see it even more if you look at the sketch that I did of the tailor who is sort of long and thin and needle-like. Johnny didn't get his name at the time that I drew the sketch. Somewhere between when I drew the sketch and when I painted him, I was inspired to write a song called Johnny Was a Butcher. And it was actually the sketch which inspired this song, and hence that's how Johnny got his name. The song itself, although inspired by the sketch, was also inspired in the way it was meant to sound and be sung by the John Mellencamp song, Jack and Diane. And what I was attempting to do was to try and create a story about Johnny the Butcher that shared some of the sentiment and ideas of John Mellencamp's song but in a relevant way to Johnny and his story. I was exploring themes of people not reaching their full potential and going on and spending their life doing regular work instead of living out their dreams. And in Johnny's case, he spent his life as a butcher but he really wanted to be a rock star playing in a band but people around him told him that this dream was unrealistic and thus so he never realised that dream. Since 2005 the song has undergone various rewrites on the lyric and at one point it even included a second character called Susie who was a hairdresser. In January of 2007 I came up with a final version which pretty much tells the story in the way that it should be told. Now unfortunately I can't sing nor can I compose music so I can't really sing you the song of Johnny Was A Butcher but if anyone out there can compose music and would like to give it a go you're more than welcome to give it a try but I will read you the lyrics of the final version Johnny had dreams someday he'd be a star singing his own music he thought he'd go far Johnny's now a butcher but he really wanted to be a star playing on the radio and in some dude's car. Johnny, they said music is more than you can be. You've got to get a real job to set your soul free. Johnny's cutting meat instead of a new CD. Sharpening knives instead of playing sharp hits on the TV. Johnny was a butcher, but he really wanted to be a star. Playing on the radio or in some dude's car. Johnny, they said music is more than you can be. You've got to get a real job to set your soul free.
Oh, <laughs> 